What's up guys? Here at another boat ramp today. This one is at the Isle of Q actually. It's uh, super warm out today. It's like 90 some degrees. But we're basically gonna do the same thing. Uh, use a jig, use a 1 8 ounce rugby uh, jig head with a tube. I think it's a three aught hook. And uh, see the boat ramp right there. Yeah, let's see what happens. All right, so like I said, here's what I'm throwing. I'm using a coffee tube by Strike King, VMC Rugby Jig Head. It is 1 8 ounce. Sometimes I use a quarter ounce too. Three aught hook, I believe. Make a couple casts here because I know the end of the boat ramp's out there. River's still high. So we should get bit right around this ramp. Oh, we just had a little one. Well, what I'm doing is I'm just casting it out. I'm twitching my rod tip a little bit, but primarily I'm just letting it sit and let the current take it. I'm also not casting like a football field out there and going crazy. I'm just trying to cast it maybe 60 feet. Just letting the current take it. Feeling for that bite. Now there was just two other guys fishing right over here so I don't I don't know if they hooked up with a bunch of them, maybe spooked them off, but we're going to keep trying here. It's freaking hot. My back is on fire. Gotta be something around here. But what I'm trying to do here is just cast out. Like I said, I know the boat ramp ends out there a good ways because I've launched my boat here a couple times. And when the river's high, I've hooked into some pretty big fish out there. There's some holes where the people with the jet motors put their boats on the trailer and they really get on it and they shoot shoot some divots in the river some nice little pockets the fish like to sit in those let's try up here a little bit trying to maintain bottom contact the whole time. Maybe once in a while I'll lift it up just a little bit. And like I said, I'm just feeling for that that bite. Either that hard bite or just something to pull back. Sometimes a big one, you won't even feel it bite. It'll just swallow it. Next thing you know, you have weight. Oh, there's a little one. There's a bunch of little ones here, too. I think they're sunfish, so they always catch you off guard. Let's push some of the shade down here. Give the, give the skin a break from skin cancer for a minute. Sun cancer, whatever it's called.
back over here by the launch. I know we can at least get one. How big? I don't know. But I know they're here. Now that the current took it way down there, now I'm going to slowly pull it back up. I'm going to feel for every rock, if it's grass that's going through. If it gets stuck, I'll just give my, give my tip just to pop, let it pop up over that rock. But I'm just slowly dragging it over. Because what I'm trying to do is mimic a crawl crawfish and a crawfish isn't gonna fly around on the bottom like a freaking mouse so to replicate what you're what you're trying to mimic back for a minute, cast it back out there, it's about right where it was. fishing a tube so it's kind of I mean it's only a three and a half but it's kind of bulkier just because of the muddy water so the little ones don't always eat it the whole way but the big ones trust me whenever they get it you know and they like I feel like they like bigger ones too I mean they'll eat small baits but I feel like bigger ones entice them more Fish was on. I think it was. Had it the whole time. Jeez. See, they're out here. Sometimes it takes a couple casts. Sometimes you might have to cast ten times in one spot, especially with muddy water. Their sight's a lot worse. Sometimes you just gotta keep repeating the cast and then all of a sudden they'll see it. Or hear it, or just trying to hone in on it.
Oh, another little one. I was about to say, that's a fish. I think we need a new tube here. This one's pretty shot. you guys exactly what I'm using here too so like I said I'm using the rugby jigs but these are a quarter I actually have a eighth ounce tied on right now then the tubes I'm using here are these ones the color is dark melon it's got some gold flake in it so we'll click salted coffee scent does it help? I don't know. But it catches me fish. So what I do here is I just Texas rig it. See if we can hook up with one of these little ones finally. They all seem to be about right out there. About right at the end of that boat ramp. Like I said where those pockets are. Always keep an eye on your line too. Sometimes if it jumps, it gets real tight right away. That means a fish took your bait right off the fall. There we go. Oh, that was a good one. Came off. I don't know what that was, but that felt big. I don't know how it came off. Nice one. Get it back out there. But yeah, like I was saying, just keep a keep an eye on your line. If it gets tight right away. It's usually a good indication that a fish grabbed it or you're stuck on a rock. So we're getting bit. It's a good thing. Now we just need to stay hooked. Keep keep them pinned. I mean that last one I just had there I really set the hook. I just kind of leaned into it. So I just felt pressure. I didn't really feel the bite. There's one. There's a nice one. Yeah, better one for sure. Let's walk him over here. I want to take him up over that wall. Oh, yeah. That's a solid one there. Come up here. chunky one. See that one? Like I said bigger ones like that tube. Quick picture. Alright. 
going. That kind of rectifies that first one, first big one I lost there. Nice. There it is, guys. Like I said, it's tube, rugby jig head. Just toss it out there. Give it a try. All right, so I turned the camera off for a minute. I got a drink. I had to retie, and I caught a little one. But let's cast back out here, see if we can get a bigger one than that one. I just had oh man I don't know what that is right there if it's a fish it's just freaking grass that's throwing me off it feels like it's pulling back a little bite There's some big ones sitting out there. There's a bunch of fat sallies out there. Hi. How's that feel? Oh my. <laughs> this is sweet. I bet. Quite a lot of mud still in it, but yeah. good. Oh yeah, Nelly. Way from Cujo, Cujo's owner.
bomb it out there and see what happens. yourself out man all right so another one didn't really have size but let's try that again oh that was not good look at that Jeez. I think it's fixable maybe all right Somehow we managed to get that backlash out. God knows my line's probably all jacked up in there. Or a big nick break off on a big one, but <clears throat> all right, let's try that again. Keep her up a little higher. So right about there is where I caught that last one, so I'm just gonna toss it back. There's another one. Sometimes they school up. Just like that. Oh, it's a little bit better. A little bit better. Good, healthy, strong freaking fish, though. Definitely just hit it right there. Messed it up. Let's see if we can fix this here. Getting hit. Just keep an eye on my line. I can see it on top of the water. Just letting the current take it. I'm going to slowly work it back to me. said maintaining that bottom contact it's coming through grass right now I can feel it just use your third eye like you're looking through the line like a straw and you're looking into the river See what your lore's feeling.
We'll have to take the boat out here soon. Now that the river started calming down. Right. Now reel this in. We're gonna try back up at the boat ramp right there real quick. But I'm gonna fish on this side this time. Fish this little point up here. Just that little point back in there. What's that lore? It's all right. Well, that being said, I think we're gonna call it here. Toasty in the sun, but as you guys saw, like I said, I get some sweat off me. I said this boat ramp here and the river's high i mean these are some great places to fish you cast it out there find the current seams i mean this has current swirling back currents hitting that little spot right there so just cast around and like i said sometimes you gotta make multiple casts but definitely get out there get some fishing see you soon <laughs>